All right, so what is up guys? In this video, we're gonna be making a zoom recycler view and just to demonstrate what it is, I'm going to swipe to the right. And as you can see, it's essentially just a recycler view that zooms in and out and gives you this very nice animation. So you can make a very nice effect in your app and it's gonna have a small rating bar at the bottom. And when you click on the item, it's gonna give the title of the item in a small toast box. So we will also be handling on-click events for the recycle view. But let's get started immediately by going to our web browser and I'm gonna leave everything in the description below. But the first thing we want to go to is this Zoom Recycler Layout by Spiky Sanju. And if we go down here, you'll see there is a dependency. So the first one we want to copy is the Maven. Then go to our Gradle scripts and click on the project build.gradle. And right under all projects, under jcenter, we're going to insert the Maven URL. Then we can go to the regular build.gradle and go back to our web browser because we need to insert the regular implementation. And we will just paste it at the bottom of all the dependencies. Then we can go ahead and click on sync now. And as soon as that is done syncing, we can close this Gradle scripts folder and go to our res folder. And we are going to go to values and then to themes and click on the themes.xml. And uh, you can change the colors to whatever you like, but inside here, what we are going to concentrate on is adding two new items. And the first one is going to be a window action bar, which we are going to set to false. And then right below that, we're gonna type in another item and that's gonna be window no title. And we're gonna set that to true. So we get rid of the action bar at the top. So the next thing we have to do is go to our drawable folder and we need to insert three images and you can pick any three images you want. I'm just gonna be using these three random ones I got from the internet and just drag and paste them in there and click on Refractor. So you'll be able to find these three images in my GitHub repository. I will leave that in the video description below. And as you can see, they're just three phone images that have to do with trees and nature. And then the next thing we should do is go to our layout folder and we are going to create a new item layout. So we're gonna type in layout resource file and we're gonna call it RV underscore item and click on okay. Then we're gonna to go to split view and since this is not a video on how to create the XML, we are just gonna to go to my GitHub repository. So that will be the second link in the video description below. And once you're here, it should say zoom recycle view underscore test. We're gonna click on app. Then we're gonna click on source. Then we're gonna to go to main, res, layout, and we're gonna to go to RV underscore item XML. Then you're just gonna click on this raw button here. So it's a lot easier to copy and paste. And we're just gonna copy everything that's inside here so that we can paste it inside here. And just to explain real quick what I did here, I started with a relative layout and then I inserted a card view. So this entire view is a card view. And then I inserted an image view inside the card view with the ID of IV underscore image for the background of the card view and a linear layout to take care of these two views down here. The background of the linear layout is set to a black with a slight transparency. And then we have a text view with the ID of TV underscore destination, which is the title of the view. And we also have a rating bar, which I just called card underscore rating bar. So that's all you really have to know about this XML file over here. And next we can go to our activity main XML. And very similar to what we did in the RV underscore item XML, we're going to do for this activity underscore main XML. So let's go to our browser, click on the back button twice and go to our activity underscore main XML. Then we're just gonna copy what's inside here and paste it inside here. So you should get this kind of view. At the top, we have a text view that says explore, and then we have the recycler view that kind of clips in the bottom, but that's not really important at the moment because when we run the app, it will clip to the bottom, just as I showed you in the example. So the only thing to note in here is that the ID of the recycler view is RV underscore recycler. Then as for any recycler view, we need to go to our package name and create a recycler view adapter. So we'll just call it recycler adapter and I always spell it wrong, so make sure to spell it correctly so you can find it later. Then we should add a constructor, and inside here, the first thing we'll type in is private var image, which is going to be a list of int. Then we need to create a private var title, which is gonna be of type list of string. And finally, we need to add a private variable of rating, which will be a list of 
int. And then we need to go down here after the constructor and extend recycler view dot adapter. And we need to pass in a view holder. So we'll type in recycler adapter dot view holder. And then we should also implement these members and click on OK. But right above the view holder, we need to create an inner class of view holder, which takes item view as a view. And that is going to extend the recycler view dot view holder with an item view in the constructor. And another thing I always forget is to add the constructor invocation at the end of the view holder up here. So remember to do that. And then inside this inner class, we're going to create a value of item image, which is going to be of type image view. And that's going to equal an item view dot find view by ID. And then we just need to refer to our image view, which is IV underscore image. And then we should do the same thing for the other two. And I'm just going to copy and paste it like this. So we're going to change this to item rating. And this is going to be a rating bar. Then we need to refer to the rating bar here. So card rating bar. And finally, item title, which is going to be a text view. And then we just have to type in TV underscore destination. And then we want to take care of the on click listeners. So we're going to type in item view dot set on click listener. And that's going to take a view like that. And inside here, we'll type in value position, which is going to be of type int, and that's going to be equal to adapter position. Then right below that, we can create a toast, which will take the item view context. And as a message, we just want to display the title. So we'll type in title at the position of position. And that's all we have to do inside the inner class. Now we need to take care of the other methods. So on create view holder will be the first one. And we're just going to type in value v is going to equal a layout inflator dot from parent dot context dot inflates r dot layout dot rv underscore item. And we need to insert a parent and we are not going to attach this to root. So we'll write in false. Then we need to return a view holder which is going to be the V we just created. Then for the recycler view, we need to specify how big it is. So you can actually choose whether you want to return the image, the title or the rating dot size. It doesn't really matter as long as it is a list of fixed items. So I'm just going to use title dot size for this example, but you can also do image or rating dot size. It doesn't matter. And then we need to create the on bind view holder. So the first one we have to insert is the item image and set the image resource to the image at the position it is at. Then we're going to do the same thing for the other two. So item title dot text is going to equal the title at the position of the array. And holder dot item rating dot rating is going to equal a rating at the position of the array. And we need to change this to a float because the rating takes a float as an argument. And I inserted an integer which means we have to change it to a float. And that's all we have to do inside our recycler adapter. And the next thing we can do is go to our main activity and finish this project. So at the top, we need to create a few variables. The first one is going to be the title list. So private var title list is going to equal a mutable list of type string. Now we're just going to copy and paste this two times. And right here, we'll type in rating list which is going to be of type int and a private variable of drawable list, which will be of type int. Then we need to create a late init var of recycler view, which will be of type recycler view. And as always, we need to make sure this remains on light mode. So we'll type in app compat delegate dot set default night modes, app compat delegate night mode. No, then we need to locate the recycler view. So we'll call find view by ID and say r dot id rv underscore recycler. Then we need to create two methods. The first one is going to be to add to the list so we can see the items displayed in the recycler view. And we'll just call this private function add to list. And it will take a title of type string, an image of type int, and a rating of type int. So we'll call title list dot add. And inside we'll insert the title, then drawable list dot add, insert the image, and finally, rating list dot add, and insert the rating. Then below this, we need to create a private function, which is called setup recycler view. And the first thing we have to create is a linear layout manager, which is going to be of type zoom recycler layout. 
and we need to pass in the context, which will be this. And this is supposed to be an equal and not a colon. Then we can call our linear layout manager and set the orientation to horizontal. So to do this, we'll just type in orientation and linear layout manager dot horizontal. Then we should also add a snap. So we'll call value snap helper, and that's going to equal a linear snap helper. Then we need to call this snap helper and call attach to recycler view and insert the recycler view. Then recycler view dot is nested scrolling enabled and set that to false. And finally, we can call the recycler view and call the real layout manager and set it to the linear layout manager. Then we also have to call the adapter and that's gonna be the recycler adapter and pass in our lists. So the first one we want to pass in is for the images, which is gonna be the drawable list. Then for the title, we'll just type in title list. And for the ratings, we just have to call our ratings list. Now, before we create the recycler view, we want to add to the list so something will show up. So for the first one, we can say Hawaii beach. Then we're gonna have to call our drawable image and we're gonna go for photo one and we're gonna give it a rating of three. Then we're gonna do the same thing for the other two. So we can just copy this line and paste it twice. And we'll call this one luxury resort and this will be photo two with a rating of five and the final one will be the cold woods we'll give it a rating of four and set the photo to photo three then all we have to do is call setup recycler view and we are finished now when we go ahead and run this program you should see a very nice horizontal zoom scrolling recycler view so let's click on run so as you can see, we have nearly the same layout as before, except uh, of course I didn't change the colors, so we'll have purple at the top. But uh, when we swipe to the right, you'll see that we'll have the names at the bottom with the ratings, and it will slide in a very smooth fashion. So, so it's a very nice UI effect that you can add to your project. And yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you for this project. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.